gününün sonuna kadar senin yanında olacağım. Söz veriyorum sana. Nihat kendine gelmiş sonunda. Nihat uyanıp da konuşursa mahvolursun. Ceva ile Nihat'ın bir bağlantısı var mı yok mu öğreneceğiz. Bunun senin arabanda ne işi var? Merak etme. Öğreneceksin. Hello my dear followers. Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to be informed about new videos. Let's see what will happen in the new episode together. Where will Dylan and Baron go with Sinner? Will Akif and Burfin talk about everything openly now? Will Baron overcome the sadness of the events by hugging Dylan? Will Nyat coming to his senses create a problem for Tarek? Will Nyat want to talk? What is one of Ghoul's earrings in Nyat's car? Will Tarek try to make Nyat die or not talk because he is afraid of Nyat talking? Why does Baron get angry and shout when he is with Nyat? Is there a connection between Sevahir and Nyat as Baron thinks? What will Asayir do when she sees him standing up in front of Hassan? All of this and more is in this video now. If you think that Nyat should tell Baron everything that happened as soon as he comes to and then die, so that Baron can learn the tricks going on behind his back, remove all the dangers one by one, and start living a happy family life with Sinner, don't forget to like and share our video. Now let's move on to our analysis, enjoy watching. After the bad events that happened, Baron and Dylan will plan a picnic together to erase the bad memories from Sinner's mind. They will have very enjoyable moments there and be very happy. Of course, Sinner will be worried and worried that something bad will happen again. Dylan and Baron will encourage him not to be afraid and help him get the bad thoughts out of his mind. Since Sinner didn't experience anything bad this time, he will only remember that he was very happy and peaceful from this beautiful day. Dylan and Baron will be happy when they see him happy. Burfin can't stand Akif staying away from her and will start to open her heart to him now. Akif continues to struggle with questions he doesn't know about her in his mind. He thinks of waiting for his relationship with Burfin to progress a little more and then asking her if she doesn't tell him. Burfin will wait to trust Akif enough to tell him about what happened in the past. I think he will talk when he feels safe and sure of Akif. After the bad events that have happened one after another, Baron will try to heal by hugging Dylan and feeling her love. The two lovers who are constantly supporting and encouraging each other will not leave each other alone in these times, as they always do. As Baron thinks about the unanswered questions in his mind, he will become restless and think that they are not safe. The fact that Nyad is not dead will make Tarek and Asayir uneasy. Because in this difficult situation, Nyad may want to say that Tarek had it done and get rid of Baron's anger. As soon as Baron hears that Nyat has come to, he will go to the hospital to ask what Ghoul's earring was in his car. When Nyat sees how angry Baron is, he will say that he will tell everything. I think that Ghoul's earring has nothing to do with Nyat and Hassan had someone put it there. Because he will try to get away with it by showing Nyat as the culprit of Fyret and Ghoul's death. Hassan starts to stir things up from where he lies, and unfortunately, I can't imagine what will happen after the beginning is over. Can a person be born for so much evil or how can he pollute his heart so much? A characterless person who knows no bounds in evil and still does not regret what he did after coming back from deaths. Asayir Hanem will want Tarek to kill Nyat because of the possibility of him talking. However, Tarek cannot manage to be as evil as he seems and this time, since he cannot kill him, he will assign another man a task and poison Nyat's serum and make him die. Since the poisoning incident happened just before Baron came to him, Nyat will take his last breath while trying to tell Baron what happened. Baron will go crazy with anger when he sees that he is dead. However, there will be no doubt in his mind that anyone could have killed him. It is thought that Nyat, who was already thought to be dying, regaining consciousness is a miracle, but it will be thought that he died as a result of being shot. Baron will start to follow Ghoul and fire it, thinking that Nyat may have killed them, and wondering if he has a connection with Sevahir. He will learn that Nyat used to be a collaborator with Sevahir. Just like Sevahir, there is corruption, illegal business, they did it all together and Nyat is still trying to patch it up. 
he will start to investigate why he killed Ghoul and fire it, thinking that there is no end to evil and bad people. While there is no end to evil and bad people, we ask our scriptwriter for good things to happen. It is high time that they learn that they are a little happy and peaceful, that there are fewer bad people and that sinner is actually Miran. When Hassan walks up to Aseir Hanum's room, Aseir Hanum will be shocked. It will be Aseir Hanum's turn to be afraid from now on. Because Hassan will intimidate and scare her, and in the meantime, he may want to hurt her a little. They will continue to blackmail each other and live together. Since both of them have their own vulnerabilities, no one will be able to speak up. So, do you think Hassan's move will remain a secret between them? Will Tarek's collaboration with Nayat be revealed? Will Nayat die? Will Baron be able to find a connection between Sevahir and Nayat? Will Burfin tell Akif about her mental hospital stay? Yes, my dear followers, I would be happy if you share your views and thoughts about this episode with us in the comments. For now, we have come to the end of another analysis. You can share your valuable opinions in the comments section. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications for more videos. See you in the next video. Take care of yourself. Goodbye.